The U.S. Marine Corps has officially completed its VH-92A Patriot Presidential Helicopter Fleet following the delivery of the 23rd unit by Sikorsky on August 14th. This significant milestone marks the conclusion of a multi-year project, with all advanced helicopters now prepared to meet the U.S. government's high-level air transport requirements. At a recent ceremony held at Sikorsky's facility in Owego, New York, the company celebrated this significant achievement. Lieutenant General Bradford Gehring, Deputy Commandant for Aviation, underscored the importance of this delivery. In an official statement, Gehring described the delivery of the VH-92A as a landmark event, marking a new chapter in the Marine Corps' 67-year tradition of providing helicopter transportation for the President of the United States. This new generation VH-92A is set to replace the aging VH-3D and VH-60N models, offering a significant upgrade in safety, efficiency, and reliability. Its key features include enhanced performance capabilities, increased payload capacity, and advanced crew coordination systems. Powered by two General Electric CT-78A turboshaft engines, the VH-92A can reach a maximum speed of 306 km per hour and a cruising speed of 280 km per hour. With a range of 998 km, it can comfortably accommodate up to 14 passengers and a crew of four. The VH-92A is the largest Marine One helicopter ever used by the U.S. President. At 17 meters in length, it slightly surpasses its predecessor, the VH-3D. Notably, the VH-92A is also the first presidential helicopter to feature a rear ramp, allowing for easier boarding and disembarking. The VH-92A program, based on the proven Sikorsky S-92 platform certified by the Federal Aviation Administration, was successfully completed ahead of schedule and under budget. These specialized helicopters, distinguished by their iconic white and green livery, will be used to transport the President, Vice President, and other senior U.S. government officials during their official duties. Subscribe to our channel for the latest breaking news on military affairs, and thanks for watching.